Hi everyone and welcome back to another product review on my channel. In today's video we're going to take a look at Beanie Beauty Box's Amber Collection. Now I believe that this collection came out last year I think. I'm not 100% positive on that but it was a previous year release. I wanted to share it with you guys today. I'm going to do color comparisons, swatching, and I'm even going to do a little fall art design for you. So if you're curious to see what this video is all about, just keep on watching. Okay, the first color we're going to take a look at is F01 and this is a army green, military green, maybe a deep olive green. It has a little bit of a yellow undertone but more so a gray undertone and I'm finding that with the first coat, I probably didn't shake these up good enough or mix them up good enough but with the second coat you do get an opaque coverage, very pigmented. It goes on so silky smooth it self levels and again these creamy gel polishes are tackless. Now I've said this before that doesn't mean that it's tack free but it's tackless so there's just a tiny little bit of a tacky residue with these gel polishes after you cure them but they are great for doing any kind of artwork because of that tackless feature but I always do like to put a top coat over top. Now look at these matte. This is a beautiful fall green. Yeah, I would say this is more like an olive green. Oh, I don't know, you guys. Olive green and, and camo green, they're kind of close, I think. But great on all three different skin tones. Looks amazing matte. And now let's see what kind of color comparisons I have. I think I might have something similar, but let's see what I found in my collection. The next color is F02 and F02 is a really stunning denim blue. So it's a medium blue but it's almost like a dusty blue with a gray undertone. This just screams fall to me. I love the, these shades for fall and this one went on really nicely in one thin layer. It was very easy to apply. Now I've got a lot of lighting in my studio so you are going to see through the swatch stick but look when you put the second layer on. It's so opaque, so green. Me. It's just such an easy product to work with and I can actually see myself wearing this on all 10 nails maybe with some Swarovski crystals and that's it. This one is so pretty and looks great on all three skin tones. I think it looks better on a lighter skin tone than a darker skin tone but that's my thoughts. You guys might think different and I love this one matte too and I am using the Beamy matte top coat in this video. Now let's see if I have anything comparable. Next color is F03 and F03 is a light gray. It is very pigmented. I found that I could get a really nice coverage in one thin layer. I will do two thin layers. Cure for about 30 to 60 seconds in between each layer and I have to say that yeah I am super impressed with how pigmented this light gray is. And I'm also noticing some brown undertones to this gray or some earthy yeah brown instead of a gray undertone 
undertone, more of that earthy brown undertone or a taupe undertone. So a great fall gray. I think this is a gray that you can wear all year round. And in this shot here, I can really see that, that taupey brown undertone. And I like how this gray looks like on my skin tone being a lighter gray. And it's kind of, I don't want to say it's an off white gray. It's not, even though it sort of looks like that in this picture. It's not, it is a gray, a light gray. I, I know I keep repeating myself, but look at this matte on all three skin tones. It just looks fantastic. So let's take a look and see what kind of colors I have that might be comparable. Next color is F04, and F04 is a true fall yellow. This is a deep mustard yellow. That's what I would call a mustard yellow. It's got some orange hues to it. It matches my background or the leaves in the background quite nicely. And this is a great fall color. This one was more pigmented than I thought it was going to be. However, you would need to put two layers on with this color. So this is F04 after it's been cured, two thin layers, great, great fall color. I don't know if I would necessarily wear this on all 10 nails, but it is a great fall color that you can use as an accent nail or use uh, to implement this color into a fall nail art design. And look at it matte, this one is stunning matte. This is also a great color for Halloween. Put some black Swarovski crystals on this color, do a really cute, kind of blingy Halloween design. That would look kind of cool. Okay, let's do some color comparisons. I don't have too many colors that are comparable to this, but let's see what I decided to bring out. Next color is F05 and this one is kind of on the border of being a kind of a brick red or a bronzy brown. This one I would do in two layers. I found that the first layer was, it was pretty pigmented but not as pigmented as you'll see with a second layer on. That second layer just sort of builds the color up and it just makes it pop. Like look at this, this almost really does look like a kind of a brick red but more on that brown side. This color is really interesting, and I mean that in a positive light. I would actually wear this on all 10 nails, pop some, maybe some yellow citrine type of Swarovski crystals on top, and that's it. And look at it matte. I mean, again, matte just sort of lightens up the color a little bit and gives it a completely different look. All three skin tones, I think this color looks fabulous. Yeah, I could definitely see some green Swarovski crystals, like the green stripe you see in my backdrop there. That color of a Swarovski crystal would look great on this color. Okay, let's see what I have to compare. Okay, and the last color is F06, and this is a gorgeous brown. I would say this is a medium brown, kind of on that chocolate side, but it does have a purple undertone to it, a little bit, just a little bit. It is a red brown, but kind of with an earthy purple undertone to it. This one is so, so pretty. And I found it to be very pigmented. So again, I want to reiterate that when you are applying these gel polishes, make sure you put them on very thinly so they don't wrinkle or shrink up. No, they don't shrink. There's definitely no shrinkage or pull back when you apply these colors. So yeah, I mean wrinkle, not shrink. <laughs> 
And this color with a matte top coat is stunning. This is so fall and it looks great on all three skin tones. You could do so much with this color. 10 nails just as a solid color, something really simple and classy, or you could use it to do some shading and some artwork. If you're doing some characters or faces that I don't do, but you could use this that way. Okay, let's take a look at some color comparisons. Okay, let's do a nail art design. So first of all, I'm going to take F02 and I'm gonna place it on the pinky, one thin layer, and I will cure for 30 seconds in between each layer. I'm just gonna let you watch this part because it's just me applying the color to the nails and curing. And here I'm going in with the second layer and curing for 30. No, actually I cure for 60 seconds. Sorry, I lied. Just because they're really pigmented, I wanted to make sure that it cured all the way through. So I did cure for 60 seconds. So on the middle finger, I'm taking F04. I'm just placing it like a blob <laughs> on the middle finger and I don't, you don't need a whole lot, just a blob. My inspiration is a some stickers I saw from Glitter Mix Canada that AR Nail Supply does carry and how you draw the face over top of some earthy toned colors. So I'm just gonna let you watch this part here and we'll talk about it in a bit. But before I let you watch this, I do wanna say that I do flash here in between each color just so they don't bleed into one another and then I will do a complete one minute cure so here I wished I would have had Beanie's black gel polish but I don't have it so I am using the black Thai buttercream uh, along with my detailer 2 brush from Ugly Duckling and I'm just drawing some lines to create a design that you're gonna see take shape here anytime soon Really, it will. <laughs> Once the lines are done and my design is the way I want it, I will cure for a full 30 seconds. And here I'm just going back in with this mustard yellow color just to add to the ring fingernail, just because I thought it needed a little bit of color. 
Then I will do another full cure of one minute and I'm going in with my top coat. So the nails that are the full color, I do use a shiny top coat. On the ring finger and middle finger, I am using Beanie's matte top coat, but you will see that I go in and like, you won't see that I go in and put a shiny top coat back on the ring finger because I didn't like it matte. So here it is, <laughs> the, ring or the ring finger, I did do a shiny top coat and the middle finger I did matte. I really really like how the middle finger turned out. I'm not a fan of how the ring finger turned out but I will be honest I did practice the face design there as you can see here. <laughs> I did practice it a couple of times before I filmed it and it looks really nice shiny as well but I really like the matte top coat for these types of designs. So I think now you might have might know what I'm talking about when I those stickers that you see that you could just place them on the nails instead of drawing them. I didn't have those stickers so I thought you know what I could easily draw this and I was quite surprised that I could. So comment down below in the comment section if you've seen those stickers with these type of designs on them and tell me if you like it shiny or matte better. So this is the whole amber collection that came out last year I believe from Beamy Beauty Box. I love these colors they are great true fall colors like there is no question when you look at these six colors it screams fall. I wouldn't necessarily wear all of them as like I said as on all 10 nails like the yellow or the mustard yellow however I love it in a design and these gel polishes are great for doing art designs what I love about Beanie's gel polishes is with the few collections that I've shared with you guys already every single one of them are very consistent in their pigmentation so so easy to apply they're creamy as you apply them they're effortless tackless and when I have a client that picks a beamy color I smile inside because I'm like yes these are easy colors to use and they're gonna look good on the nails like I have clients that just prefer you know one full coverage that's it maybe a little bit of bling they're not really into a lot of art yet I will convert them <laughs> But when they pick a, a beamy color, I'm just screaming with happiness inside because they are so easy to use. And when you are towards the end of your service and you're applying that color, when they're easy to apply, it makes life so wonderful. <laughs> so what do you guys think of this collection? It's been out for a while. So do you have this collection? Have you tried it out? If so, tell me your thoughts in the comment section. Do you have a favorite color? Now, if you're wondering where you can purchase this collection. AR Nail Supply is a Beamy Beauty Box distributor so they do have this in stock. Again I'll say this again I'm in BC. AR Nail Supply is in Ontario. It's maybe three to five days that it takes to ship to me. Not that long at all. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media and we will see you in the next video. Bye guys!